First thing is to both hands independently. We got to get the hands kind of just how they basically operate, right? So it's 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 hammer-ons. Is basically what they are, right? Now when you hammer on, see how high your fingers are coming up off the fingerboard and all that when when you just did that? You you want to keep it just like you're kind of playing normally. Um, can you see my left hand good? Yep. So I'm I'm starting on the fifth fret of the the E string. Just doing a one, two, three, four fingering. Now I'm not doing anything with the PDF files yet. I want to come down the tips of the fingers, but you notice I'm not really killing the strings. Actually, the um, the technique should almost be called pressing. All right, but you, you do have to. I want you to like hit it a little bit just to get some artic, you know, some point to the attack and build some endurance. It's going to be a little unmusical at first, but kind of go overdo it. So you kind of want to whack it just a little bit. But eventually it'll turn into more of a... Where you almost just press down the notes. If you articulate very clearly, you get good tone, right? So what you want to do here is come, don't never, come down with the claw on the tips of the fingers. Don't let the joints collapse as you, as you do this. Also, no excess motion. See, the other fingers are floating over the string just like they would normally. Now you're going to miss it first. You'll find your finger going on either side of the string, so just be patient with it. You'll, the muscle memory will develop. But listen to the tone. And then I go to the A string. Now you have to kind of uh, develop it. You know how the meeting stuff we did with a slap with the left hand? It kind of works in a similar way here. Now I'm using the uh, the scrunchy to kind of keep things under control, but that only does so much. But now when I come down on the first finger, I have to mute my E and B strings, right? But I can't come down and actually hit them. I can't make any noise. So what I do is, you know those those things to where like a cushion of air, those rides at amusement parks, like they take you up real high and they drop you and like it falls real fast and it right at the bottom, it's like it hits a big cushion of air and just like slows you down. Pretend like that's right there, right before you hit the string. And just let them glide into the string without making any noise. Now when I do a second and third finger note, I just let my first finger kind of bar over. I'm not really picking, I'm not picking it up. to your tone the kind of sound you're getting so that the muscle memory you develop is going to be accurate. So that's what you do first with the left hand. Okay. And then eventually, you know, and the faster you move, the, the faster you move, the less muting and the different types of things you'll do with those basic muting moves will, will come, you know, come into play. Um, the way they come into play will be different depending on how fast you're moving. Because sometimes the fingers don't, the strings don't have enough time to ring. So you don't have to be as meticulous about the muting on every single note like I, like I just did when I was playing it slowly. Mm -hmm. So if, in other words, if I were going... Uh, see, I just put my first finger after that second because that first finger doesn't... There, there's not enough time for those lower strings to ring, right? So you'll adjust muting stuff as you go. But you tap each individual one. Yeah, but let them ring. You got to listen to your tone. No, go one, two, three, four finger. First finger. First finger. Oh. What am I playing? I thought. It doesn't, well, it doesn't really matter what note. It's just you're going a one, two, three, four. Like A, B flat, B, C. Oh. But don't move that fast, so make sure you listen to your tone. Just a one, two, three, four.
Yeah, but don't move too fast. I want you to this, you know, stay and listen to the tone because we really want to focus on the quality of sound here first before we get any kind of speed going. Make sure the tone is really nice, full, and pleasant to listen to. If you miss a little bit and you get a little bit of junk in the sound, hit it again. Now, when you you leave your, this finger here... Yeah, like, well, um, just let it drag up comfortably behind the second finger. Don't. It doesn't have to be... Like, if you're playing like a second, a sixth fret note, the first finger doesn't have to be over the fifth fret. It can be comfortably behind the sixth. Just let it relax. It should just kind of lightly just sit on top of the other strings. It doesn't really move. Mm-hmm. You see? Try to keep it from coming up when you lift the second. Hold it down with the other hand if you have to. <laughs> really? That's what I did. But not, not so it presses down on the strings, just to keep it from coming up. That's the preliminaries here. But basically just a quick thing is that you keep your arm off the base. The thumb glides along the top of the neck here. Mm -hmm. That's what that's the only thing that's touching the instrument aside from the fingers pushing down the strings. There's no contact of the arm on the base. Mm -hmm. All right, you want to come down on the tips of the fingers in the same way that you do on the left hand. Mm -hmm. Don't let the joints collapse. Oh boy, now. Okay, now start first finger 12th fret on the E string. Can you back up a little bit? Swing. First finger 12th fret E string. Right. Now, you can make sure that your. Uh, is this a better angle? Oh, yeah, that is. All okay. Right. Now, lay flat these fingers on the left hand over the strings. Okay. All right. Now see how I've got my, I just basically have this real relaxed thing. I just kind of put it there. My thumbs, right, just gliding on the top of the neck there. It just mm -hmm. stays there. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, the, the right hand will morph into kind of two main positions. It'll mirror image the right, left. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or it'll also turn into this. It'll do from this to this, depending on what you're playing. If you're playing more linearly, linearly, it'll be this way. If you're playing more quarterly, you know, it'll, it'll do this. Boy, it sounds like you're plucking them. I swear it sounds just like you're... Now that's with your hand kind of at an angle like wherever it has whatever you know you kind of let the finger the, let what you're playing dictate what the angle is going to be of the hand mm -hmm. all right now let's get into just a linear part all right so it's going to be kind of like this type of thing here and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to same type of thing listen to my tone I go to two I go to three four. Now again, don't let the joints collapse. Come down the tips of the fingers just like you did in the, in the left hand. worked at it a while you know it's, it takes some time if and you're gonna find yourself miss and the tone's gonna to suck at first this is gonna take a minute it's like slap it's just you have to recondition the hands to to pull the sound out of the strings this way mm -hmm. just remember not to let your arm drag on the bass <laughs> 